All right, do a walk around of the crew cab. 74, big block 400, four speed. Not currently running. Finally got it to get spark. It's got a new ignition module and a new ballast resistor. Uh, I actually ended up throwing a points distributor in it though. And that was the only way I could get spark out of it. So it's got something going on with it. But a uh, previous owner said it jumped timing. Um, and it was off the road this February, so it hadn't been sitting long. But it's a pretty good old truck. A good looking truck. But it's got the usual rust. And this is the worst of it, this wheel well. Tailgate's a little bent up. But there's actually no rust in the bed. I think it had a camper on it. Again, a little bit of rust in the wheel well. They do make patch panels for those. A little bit in the doors like the crew cabs always have. Mm -hmm. But underneath here... That's the only spot on this side of the floor pan. Um, see the underneath the rockers and everything are solid. And on the driver's side, same thing, a little bit in the floor pan, but not a whole lot. That's it. And the rockers are solid. Um, I don't know if it's got an aftermarket market undercoating job, but it's thick as hell, and I guess that's what saved it. It is a non-AC truck. It does have power steering, power brakes. does have discs up front. Um, pretty good door panels. Doors are solid. Um, seats are... I don't know how well you can see them, but the seats are pretty dang nice. This dash is pretty nice. Could use a good cleaning. Actually has a factory radio. First one I've ever seen was that's still had a factory radio. I guess they had a CB or something. Uh, the dome light does work. Headlights, turn signals work. Um, but I've only had it a couple months, so I, and I haven't got it running, so can't really comment other than that. Door's good. Door panel's good. Back seat's clean. Again, the roof's all good. It does have a little bit of rust on. There it is, right there. But overall, it's a pretty cool truck. Pretty solid truck. But it ain't perfect. They're hard to find. At least this one has clean interior. It is a big block four speed, which I've never seen one in a crew cab. MP435 four speed. Um, pretty good dash. Interior overall is good. Well, there she is. Somebody wants it, make me an offer. Uh, just don't really have time for it, man. I thought I could get it running pretty easy and have a good driver, but. I really don't even have time to mess with it and I hate to let it sit because I had a 77 and I had it for five years and probably put 20 miles on it and then I bought this one and I don't want this one to end up like that one. So if somebody wants it, make me an offer. If not, I'll get around to it. I mean, as you can see, I got plenty of old Dodges around here. <laughs> 